Welcome back to ICS 101. Let's take a look at Access uh, Greater Project Chapter 1. I downloaded my files. Not, it's not very long. Yeah, only about eight, seven or eight steps. Yeah, and I've loaded my database. I'm going to just open her up. I'm going to put it here just so we can see. Um, step number two. Uh, I, I added already added in some records in here just to save some time. So I'm going to come in over here and then I'm going to come in and add in my uh, data. Bergen Road, South Pennsylvania, 18957. So I'm just going to kind of click it here just to kind of make sure that uh, I saved it. Yeah. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to right button click, save and right button click close. Yeah. Um, then it says open up uh, step three over there, open up the customer form. And it says go and find Baker Auto. Well, you know, I guess we can go to, um, you know, we can come over here to customer name and we can go and find it, you know, Baker like this, this is one way, yeah. Or, you know, what you can do is you can, you know, just kind of navigate here and I got Baker Auto. Yeah, not that long. And then once this is changed, Street to Avenue. So then I'm gonna right button click here, save, right button click close. Just to do that, just to save it, yep. Yeah. Uh, open up the products form. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Open up the product form. And it says over there, um, you want to add a new product. So down on your navigational bar, there's a couple buttons. This goes to the first one, previous, next, last. And then the one with the starburst is the next empty record, which means new record. So I click on that guy. And I'm going to go ahead and type it in, coffee dash Arabica Premi, Premium Premium Yeah And then I'm going to go ahead and type in 24 dash Case Comma Pre Round 1.750 Z Yeah Bags Okay, and then it says over there, cost is 13. No need to put in a dollar sign. Yeah, 100% um, markup. Uh, it says that it's a premium brand, so we have to click on premium and pull down this. And it was introduced in 2017. Yeah, and then I'm gonna click on someplace else, just to kind of see. And then I'm gonna go right button click, save, and right button click, close, easy. Then it says open up the products report at step uh, five, look at it, right? And then make sure it has 26, the one that we just entered in, which is pretty cool. Um, then uh, what it wants you to do is make sure that you go ahead and view the report in print preview. So I click on the file and then click on print, print preview. So you can see it, you know, this is what it's going to look like when you print it out. And then what it says over there is, um, you know, change the page layout to landscape. So instead of portrait, I'm going to change to landscape. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to go and right button click here and save it. Right button click and close it. There you go. Yeah. Um, now we're going to go to um, number six, which is open up the customer table. And it says over there, sort the table by customer name in ascending order. Save the changes and close the table. So I'm going to come here. This is one way that you can sort. And ascending A on the top, Z on the bottom, right? Z on the top and A on the bottom is called descending. So we're going to say ascending. So it sorts it. Once it sorts it over there, then we want to go and right button click save, right button click close. There you go. Um, now, number seven over there, it says open the revenue stats uh, query, yeah? And what this is, is, you know, later on, we're going to talk about 
how we got this information. Yeah. And this is, you know, from, you know, generated from some of our information over here. So this query says over there, um, we want to start the city field. Yeah, we want to start the city field in ascending order. There you go. And then they want to apply the filter by selection so that only Pelham is displayed. Now Pelham is here on the last name column over there. Yeah. So uh, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and sort the table, a customer's table by city over there. We did that over there. And then, um, so the last name Pelham, so we click in here first. And then on the home tab here, we have something by selection. It's called filter by selection. So we're gonna come here, we're gonna say uh, no equals. Well, I wanna make it easier for us. I'm just gonna click on Pelham, right? And I'm gonna do filter by selection equals Pelham. So what that does is only give us the customer whose last name is Pelham. Yeah, apply the filter selection. Then once we did that over there, yeah, then what we're gonna do is right button click, save and right button click close. Very good. All right, very cool. Now we're gonna open up the products table and it wants us to do a couple of things over there. It wants us to just do a filter by form that all premium brands were introduced. So filter by form is kind of a, you know, kind of another way to go and sort it out. So on the home tab advanced, there's something called filter by form. So now this one over here, the year introduced, it says um, after 2017. So I'm gonna put in greater than 2017, yeah, and the brand was premium. So what it says over here is any brand introduced after the year 2017, so 2018, 2019, 2020, right? Then what I have to do is I have to apply the filter. So I go back to advance and I'm gonna apply the filter. So if you can see, I only got um, brands over here, or products that are premium introduced after 2018. Then I'm gonna go right button click, save this guy, and I'm gonna go ahead and close. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close my database. Yeah, then I'm gonna bring back my, um, my creator project and I'm gonna find it here. And then my student file, let's go see how we did. Submit for grading. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let's go see how I did again. Here, view submissions. Not ready yet. Come back over here. Still not ready, huh? So sometimes it takes a while. Let's give it a, let's give it a minute. Then access chapter one and then office and here. And greater project. Let's go look at my submissions and let's see what I got. I got a hundred. Amazing. See you uh, when we start talking about uh, PowerPoint.